Draymond Green was ejected today in Game 2 against the Sacramento Kings after he stomped on DeMontis Sabonis' abdomen, as you see here. We're going to be discussing the anatomy and all the things that can go wrong from a medical perspective when something like this occurs. What's going on everyone? I'm Dr. Nav Badesha and if you enjoy the medical side to sports injuries, consider supporting our channel by subscribing and giving a huge thumbs up if you learned something new. So let's get straight into this injury. You'll see here Sabonis is holding Draymond's right leg and He's holding his right leg and then Draymond, you'll see with his right leg, he stomps right into that right upper quadrant. And you see Sabonis instantly be in significant pain and he grabs his abdomen and he looks like he had the air knocked out of him. And you'll see with his right hand here, he grabs kind of the central portion of his abdomen. Let's take a look at our anatomy tool to discuss this a little bit further. First thing you see is the diaphragm, which is this large dome-shaped muscle, and it separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity, and it's actually responsible for breathing. When you get hit in the chest, especially with a significant force, like with this stomp, it can cause the diaphragm to spasm or contract involuntarily. This sudden contraction can disrupt the normal rhythm of breathing, and it's usually when you have athletes get the air knocked out of them. And if you've had this experience at any point in your life, you know it's not pleasant. It's an extremely painful situation when you, you feel like you can't breathe. I do think that Sabonis had some component of this based on how long he was down for. The sensation of having the air knocked out can be compared to squeezing a water balloon. If you apply pressure to the balloon, it can cause water inside to be expelled rapidly and forcefully. Similarly, the diaphragm, when it spasms, it can push out air from the lungs forcefully, causing a sudden and brief loss of breath after that exhalation that occurs. As the diaphragm relaxes and normal breathing resumes, the sensation should pass. But in some cases, a hard blow to the chest, it can cause more serious injuries. Another thing to consider in your differentials is the rib cartilage here that can be something that could potentially fracture in something like this and you can see how the ribs kind of hug the liver to try and protect it another thing I would consider is a liver laceration I don't think it's very likely in this situation but it can injure the organ after blunt trauma that would be something that I would consider and in severe cases, that can actually cause someone to bleed out. It can lead to shock. Highly doubt that it's the case here, but still something important to remember. Another differential would be abdominal wall hematoma, which is basically like a collection of blood or a large bruise. It's usually caused by ruptured blood vessels due to blunt trauma. So you can imagine there might be some ruptured vessels in this area. Uh, another thing, very rare, but sometimes you can get a blunt trauma to the abdomen that can cause a hole in the diaphragm, traumatic diaphragmatic hernia. This did not happen because he would not have been able to get up and walk on his own. But when that occurs, you get the separation between the chest and the abdominal cavities and it can cause abdominal organs like the stomach and the intestines to move into the chest cavity. Um, again, that's something you see more so with like a motor vehicle accident with like much higher force. But still for the education of abdominal blunt trauma, I think it's an important differential to consider. I am recording this right after game two and last I read from Bleacher Report, Sabonis is getting x-rays of his ribs. Now, I don't expect him to miss any time. There's a high likelihood that he does play in game three. And, you know, let's hope that he has a, a healthy and speedy recovery. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in this series. If you guys learned something new, please give this a huge thumbs up and consider subscribing, guys.